right, Emma, let's keep going. Let's uh, discuss an important topic, which is analyzing the results of your scan. Mm -hmm. Professional pen testers will not simply rely on the test result. They go a little further. He or she will ensure that the result is meaningful and that there are no false positives. That's right. So uh, your assessor will assess risk presented by vulnerabilities, compare the results to security policy, verify the vulnerabilities, and mm -hmm. prioritize those vulnerabilities. Uh, they need to as assess the risk and prioritize vulnerabilities, and the tester has to process the result using the common vulnerability scoring system. Now, by adjusting the different values based on the characteristics of the vulnerability, the CVSS score will either go up or down depending on the risk presented to your specific environment. You can use NIST CVSS calculator for this purpose, which is found at their website. Now, you can also research vulnerabilities using the common vulnerabilities and exposures numbers at cve.mitre.org. Some tools are provided with the CVE, and you can use the CVE numbers to look up additional vulnerability information from trusted sources. And we've already discussed some vulnerability research sites. You, can, you also can use the U.S. CERT Vulnerability Notes database and vendor sites. You can research vulnerabilities without a CVE number as well using Google and other security sites. So be careful here, though, when you get information from and who you are trusting Best to go and go and use known good sites like sans.org. And you want to verify those sites and get the information from multiple sources as well. That's an excellent point. It's just not sufficient to understand how to analyze the scan results. It's equally important to know the causes of errors during your vulnerability analysis. Right. Errors can happen because of your environment, not like uh, or like having not enough time to properly analyze the scan, for example. Mm -hmm. Now, if the tester does not have that privilege, then we won't get accurate vulnerabilities of the tested systems or the network. Mm -hmm. So, it's important. Choosing the right tool also can decide the result of the scan. Last but not least, if the testers don't have the uh, required knowledge to interpret the result, obviously you can't expect a good report. No, you can't. Now, we discussed analyzing the scan results in the previous section. And what we're talking about here, we're, we're going to discuss the report. The generation of reports against your collected assessment data is critical to your vulnerability assessment program. Providing the right data to the right people is the key to a successful effort. Reporting templates are going to allow you to filter and customize the vulnerability data details for a particular scan or set of scans. Reports then should be presented in a meaningful overview of the vulnerabilities you've found. Now, you have to prioritize and explain the vulnerabilities so that people can understand it. Of course. Reports should have a possible remediation suggestions. Good. And you will find advantages and disadvantages, obviously, yeah. uh, to varying vulnerability reports depending on use. Mm -hmm. Your report should include the executive report and the technical report. Those of should course. always be there. Mm -hmm. These things can provide meaningful data to your management team, the people who make the decisions, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, you may understand that the management team is not keen on the details. Go figure, right? But that will, the request uh, for trending data over time or the current risk of the threat level, that information is going to be important. So mm -hmm. choosing to provide a 300 or more page report containing all workstation vulnerabilities may be a bit comical mm -hmm. when provided to an external auditor, but will not be advantageous when dealing with your patching team. If you provide a two-page report containing the highest severity vulnerabilities, the real hard stuff found on your workstations, obviously it's going to be much better received, more palatable, easier to digest. Put it at the front, too, right? Yeah. Your summary page. Put it right up there. The anatomy of reports should consist of the following headings and subheadings. Provide a header for the report. Give a summary of the report. Give a list of vulnerabilities and for each vulnerability. Provide unique tracking numbers, risk level, high, immediate action, medium, action required, low, action recommended. Give a brief description and add appendices. Now, it should also have vulnerability details and asset setup. Mm -hmm. Absolutely.